um, the teams. It's going to be an add-on to a team. So that's what's going to happen. They're going to add you on board to the business. It could be in the department store uh, as what they're going to plan. Or it could be in, in the real estate group where you're going to be added on to the real estate group. That's what I'm vibing. Okay, so let's go on to the sign of what after Scorpio is. After Scorpio is Sagittarius, right? Yeah, after Scorpio is it Sagittarius. Yeah, Sagittarius. Okay, let's see. I believe it's for Sag. Scorpio. Oops, this one. Oh my God, the Temperance card. Okay, Sagittarius, you got the Temperance. You got the temperance. So you're feeling like it hasn't been easy for me, you know. So you've been in your moods. You're in your moods. But you're feeling a little better. But then again, you haven't. You're like, you know, you've been having that little temper tantrum inside your mind. Like, F this, F that. But you're coming in a winner. You're coming in as a winner. Okay? You're coming in as a winner at the same time. Uh, you got the happy vibe. So there, there's a combination. It's like, I could say that this month for you has been like gathering a big mixing bowl of all the fruits and vegetables all mixed into one. And I see this happening for Sagittarius temperance card, but things are going to get better for you. Don't lose faith. Sagittarius. Okay. So what's underlying what's on? Underneath all of this for Sag. Mm. I wonder if you are happy without me. I wonder if you are happy without me. So Sagittarius is wondering, are you happy now that I'm not with you? Are you happy? Is that what you wanted? See, it could have been different if you would have treated me a, a different way, okay? But are you happy now that you're not with me? So this is underlying. So Sagittarius is going through a lot of emotions. And Sagittarius right now is not someone that you want to reach out to. Because Sagittarius right now is thinking about him or herself. They're regrouping themselves from within. I wonder if you are happy without me. That says a lot. Okay, that says a lot. That can strike some type of pain as well. Inner pain, subconscious, like more of a subconscious program type of pain that uh, Sagittarius hasn't gotten rid of. It could be you need to uh, clear the... Um, the heart chakras, right? Clear out the heart chakras, the heart space, so that you can be able to let go fully of that individual. Okay, let's go on to the next sign of Capricorn. Okay, one card only. This is one card only. One card only. One card only. It fell. Okay, so see, this is what Scorpio got. This is the same thing that Capricorn got. And it fell off the deck. So Capricorn is also dealing with some type of business. Rather, they're creating this business as well. They're doing very well. Capricorns are doing well business-wise. Uh, you don't have to be the sign of Capricorn. You could be rising Capricorn, moon in Capricorn. You're doing very well. You could be working for someone else. Okay? You could be working for someone else, Capricorn. Uh, or a side job that's really paying you well. And I'm picking up at the same time that you're doing this, I'm picking up even two or three jobs. You, you, you may have like a full-time, part-time, and then you're doing projects. And you got like your hands full, but you're holding on to the two, the two rods. You're holding on to the two rods and not really concentrating as much on your projects because the projects come really easy on you. So you're like holding on to the other two because you're not going to hold on to them too long. Well, the part-time job is going to leave by February. Then you're going to have the full-time job. Then the other one is just there. 
So, but you have it pretty good uh, financially, Capricorn. That's what I'm vibing. So what's, let's see what's underneath it all. Let's see the Hidden Truth Oracle behind everything on the outside is something in the inside, right? So let's see what's going on. Oh, it just fell out. I left when I saw you with someone. Okay, so Capricorn is probably going through a lot, romantically speaking. So they left, they caught this person cheating. So this person right now, the reason why they're working so hard is because they caught their significant other cheating or doing something on the naughty list. Santa Claus is not going to be bringing you any gifts, but then again, does Santa Claus exist or did he ever exist? Basically, you may not give anything to that other individual and vice versa. So you're struggling with the romantic part, but you're okay in the financial working. You're stable in the in that part. Okay, let's go on to the sign of what? What's next? Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. Let's go on and see Aquarius. All right, let's see Aquarius. Oh, I heard something. Okay. Okay, Aquarius. You got six of one of swords. So you, you've moved away from troubled waters. It could have been you were ill and now you're okay. It could mean lots of things. It could mean that you were afraid of something. You were going through a lot. I pick up fatigue. I pick up fear I pick up and I almost see you in a hospital Aquarius but you are not in trouble health wise the health scare is gone it could also have been um just moving away from what was troubling you this card is six of swords now let's see what's underneath that let's see what's underneath that um Because it could mean a lot of things, right? It's just one card that I pull out. One surprise deck. That's all you need, right? One card. It's the main thing. And then showing you what's happening with underneath it all, right? Underneath it all. Underneath it all. Last Christmas. I gave you my heart, but the very next day, I want to tell you how I feel. You gave it away. Okay. So Aquarius wants to tell you how they feel. Um, seems like Aquarius hasn't really expressed how they feel. And they feel like almost choked up. They don't feel like they're able to express themselves like they used to. And however, with this card right here, this is, they're moving from troubled waters. Probably they spoke to the person they needed to talk to. Therefore, they feel a little better. But that's what was happening with Aquarius. Okay, now we're going to go on to the sign of Pisces. And that's it for the reads, right? That's it for the reads. That's all, folks. Hold on. Okay, let's go for Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? Ooh, I kept my hat because it's not, it's not, it's not warm these days, right? It's cold. Last time. There was noise in the background because I had my fan on and I didn't realize it. I, I didn't even look at my, my video afterwards when I just put it on there. Okay, let's do this. Shuffle the cards. Oh my God. These little cards are giving me a little hard time. Okay.
looks like my hands look like Popeye hands all of a sudden. How I got my camera focused on them. <laughs> like Popeye hands. Okay, I already shuffled them. Duh, I should have stayed quiet. Okay. Okay, this one stayed. Okay, Pisces. You got the King of Cups. So, Pisces, rather this be you, uh, rather you have a rising or a sun card, or this could even be you because you are Pisces. You are a King of Cups. You're, you're, you swim in your emotions. You feel like you're doing pretty good now um, financially. You feel like you're doing good emotionally. On all the three realms, I feel if you're a male or female Pisces, you're going through... Uh, you're going through something positive. Could be with somebody in your life. It could be also working. If you're working part time, um, you're working part time, or you've gotten the hours you've been wanting to get. And if this is a female, I feel that you have met a very nice person in your life that you're compatible with, and vice versa. Okay, let's see underneath it all. What's underneath? this card oh you see I'm starting to understand our connection. I'm starting to understand our connection. Okay. So it's like, what's that song? My first love, your every breath that I take. Your every step I make. But then again, it's like, not your first love, but you know, it almost feels like that because you're starting to understand the connection of who this person is and you're enjoying it. You feel different. You feel like you're almost floating on air. And during this time, because we are in ascension, ascension period, we are working more with our our light bodies, right? However, when we get angry, we still get angry. I mean, when, today I, I got really upset. It's a long story, but I don't want to talk about it, but I got really upset. I mean, when I get upset, it's like, <sighs> Goya has no, has nothing on me, okay? Because I got too much sabor in my soul. I mean, I get really pissed. I get 3D-ish to a max, which is not a good thing because I've been clearing out my, you know, cleansing my chakras, et cetera, et cetera. But don't rub me, do not rub me the wrong way. Please, please don't come at me disrespecting me. Something I do not like for anybody to come at me disrespectful. I just, you know, it's very difficult for me to understand that part of people when they come at you, you know, crazy or just a certain way. And sometimes, you know, I could have taken it in a wrong way, but still come at me a little different. Okay, speaking of that, now that I read, let's continue on with a few world predictions, okay? World predictions, okay. Speaking of that, before I do the world predictions, let's do the mixing bowl for clarity on the pendulum.
my fur baby loves that. Okay. Is the news that's going to happen next week, is it going to shock everybody? Is something, is a shocker that's going to come on this week going to shock the world, especially the truthers? Yes. But what's going to happen is that this is a movie, okay? Basically, this is already, this basically happened while some of it is more of more adventure added onto it so that the ones who are brainwashed can at least open up their eyes to what could have happened or or uh if the darkness would have taken over completely okay all right um this is a question, a few questions I'm going to ask, okay? Will there be civil unrest this year? Will there be civil unrest this year? It said yes. I saw, I um, don't know if it was on Facebook or wherever I saw it, Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, where this one man robbed a store. One man robbed a store. He put all the stuff in a bag and nobody at the store told him anything. Then I saw this other one where uh, a man was taking from another store and the security guard was outside and he didn't do anything. So that's basically something that uh, the darkness would say, hey, do this, do that, you know, would kind of push that agenda through. So I think if we continue to have this stupidity, this ignorance, because when you do something like that, it's total ignorance, right? When you take, like people think, oh, it's okay to take from a big, from a big store regardless no it's not good to take from no stores it's not good it's it's not a good it's not a good cause when you take rather that person has a lot of money etc rather that person doesn't have money it's really ignorant when when your life condition is so low to take something that's not yours it says a lot about your character how low your character is so if you take especially during a time that we're going through the process of the holy portal of all of this good stuff the light of christ especially now during the light of christ even more so as we're evolving to uh, uh lighter uh lighter light bodies it's going to be more difficult for you if you continue on that that um that direction so taking rather someone has or someone does not does not create abundance it's just going to bring you down you know so i think it's just so ignorant when i see something like that i think it's so fucking ignorant it really is it's so stupid it's like what the hell you know i mean it just sucks it sucks how stupid some people could be okay sorry about that i i just had to get that out okay okay will the civil unrest happen with the ebs No. No. Well, we have martial law. Yes, we will. Will martial law happen due to the civil unrest? No. Will arrests be made due to the civil unrest? Yes. So those people who think they're going to get away with this, believe you me, they they are they are watching. They're watching. Believe me, they're watching. They are watching, you know. Okay, let's go on. Ask a few more questions and then I'm out of here and I never took my hat off. Would have been nice if I could have had you guys live, right? Okay. Um 
Okay, let's ask. Will we have the solar flares? I'm, I'm going to ask again. Will we have the solar flares uh, this year? The full throttle solar flares, will we have them this year? No. Are we having... Are we having little uh, spouts of the solar flash this year? Yes, we are. We're having it in little, like little crumbs almost of solar flash. Will we have the solar flash next year? It says yes. I hope so. Okay. All right. Speaking of solar flashes, I just want to bring uh, bring this bio Tesla bio healers for adults. Anyways, my honest opinion. I don't know if I found any type of healing with this. Rather, I have to put it on me or whatever. I don't know. I'm still have invested because I did something fi uh, with finance, so I could. I have to pay this back regardless, and uh, I don't know if I felt any better from it. I don't know. However, I will be trying out um, the quantum physics frequency. I'll be trying that. Although I am healthy, you gotta say that all the time. You don't want to use any any negative words about how you feel regardless because anything positive that you say will definitely will remain and you're making causes for the future, right? You're making causes for the future. So um, all in all, that's basically all that I'm going to say. And I know a lot of truthers may be uncomfortable with what's been happening. Um, nothing seems to be happening, but something will be happening. There's a possibility that they may front, you know, 45, maybe uh, handcuffed due to whatever, just to, it's going to be something that's going to make everything better. Let's, I'm try, I'm speaking in cold. Um, things will open up once that happens and truths are going to come out. I don't know how soon. Nobody knows because you can't ever give information to your enemies. Like even when I'm doing the pendulum, um, I'm sure any type of energy around me at the same time is doing doing its best to direct it. But at the same time, you don't ever want to give information, information to your enemy, right? You can't ever give information to your enemy. You got to keep them guessing you got to keep them guessing all in all whew. anyways i hope you guys like my hat because you know why i'll be home for christmas you can count on me anyways that's all i got for you and i'm just happy that i got this hat that's why i was singing those few lines and thank you so much. If you are subscribed to my channel, please share. Um, please like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so real soon. Okay? It's going to help my channel grow. And it's going to help other other people who listen to tarot cards or little bits and pieces of information be out there. And you're going to help support me as well. Okay? So thank you very much for joining me today, tonight. Uh, for Be Inspired with the Amber, I'm your Puerto Rican mommy with a sprinkle of French. Oh, also, if you are interested in the rocks, quartz, or stones, go to Pa N. Coleman's page. She sells the best looking rocks and quartz, okay? Thank you so much. Love you guys. And if I don't see you by Thanksgiving, which I doubt it, I'm sure I'll be here next week. But if I don't see you... Have a good um, turkey 
or have happy festivities and I will see you real soon. Love you. Bye.